Hi, my name is Tommy Scanlon. I'm the nurse practitioner with the MCS team here at Hershey Medical Center. Today, we'll be talking about how to improve all-cause readmissions in the LVAD population. Currently, we have about 85 LVAD patients that live in the community that we uh, manage as outpatients, but sometimes they do get readmitted for different causes. Um, this is where we develop a committee to review and evaluate areas that we may be able to improve in our practice or different things that we can implement to help decrease these readmissions, such as guideline directed medical therapy, um, GI bleed, prophylaxis, diuretic management, uh, equipment, uh, close follow-ups if needed. Um, and then once I once we kind of reevaluate, review and reevaluate things, then you this is where I can help implement during um, inpatient rounds with the fellows and the residents on the heart failure service at that time. So looking back um, at all our all-cause readmissions um, from January to 2021 to February 2022, we noted that our, uh, rate, our uh, readmission ranges from 11 to 28%, with the average of being 19% per month. Uh, with also looking at that data that we have, we have seen that GI bleed is our number one culprit for readmissions. So we kind of have tried to concentrate on ways to improve GI prophylaxis or, you know, decrease the risks of them being readmitted um, from that standpoint. Um, some of the things that we've uh, seen is um, that might be a little challenging is sometimes the patients' uh, communication with us or compliance with us. Um, I think that's gonna be an ongoing challenge, um, but there are other things that we could do in our power to help eliminate um, risks of being readmitted. The other thing that we could always look into is um, infection. You know, is it a driveline infection? Is it a sepsis? Is it uh, a different cellulitis? Is it something that's not related to the LVAD that kind of sometimes can play um, into the role? So that's something that's also a challenge uh, as well. So um, some of the things that we could do is make sure, ensure that a patient, when they get discharged, they're on the, the right PPI or they are on Lovaza to help decrease GI bleeding. So those are some of the things that we could maybe help um, implement to help decrease the readmission, the, the risk of the re patient being readmitted. Uh, in conclusion, our goal as a, as a program is to have a uh, readmission rate less than 15%. And with this committee that we've developed, uh, we will continue reevaluating and assessing each um, readmission that comes in and, and see if there's any other things that we can implement or change in our practice to help the patients not be readmitted and, you know, to, to live a long life that doesn't require them to be in the hospital. So these are some of the things that we've looked at, looked into um, from the M MCS or LVAD team to help try to eliminate this and improve the quality of life for the patients and decrease our, the readmissions and the time they, they spend here in the hospital. Um, thank you for your your attention today and please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.